Hi, welcome back to Line Dance with Christiane. Yes, we can. Thank you for joining me today. And guess what we're going to talk about? The four walls. And why do we talk about a clock <laughs> when we line dance? So let's talk about the four walls. So when you're getting instructions in your class or at the clubs, that you don't get confused, that you know what they're talking about. Confidence. <laughs> okay, so there are four walls that we always talk about in line dancing. And of course, the first wall is our main wall, the wall we face when we start. And that's your home wall, that's wall one. And it's often, often the one that's closest to the stage um, or the band or the bar, and that's where everybody starts facing the same direction. So that's um, wall one. And then we go around because there are four walls. So the next wall is wall two. Then the back wall is wall three. And the side wall is wall four. And then if you keep going around, as we do in a lot of dances, then this becomes five. We just keep counting the walls in, in the four. So let's see if we, if we got this. So we start here. We're starting at wall one, the home wall, the wall where everybody starts facing um, the same direction and usually to the stage or the band or a bar. That's wall one. Then wall two is your next uh, quarter wall. But you know what? Sometimes it can be that wall. It depends on which way the dance turns. So if I start here, but the dance turns here first, that's wall two, <laughs> three, four. But if I start here and the dance turns that way first, that's wall two. <laughs> so we just keep counting and um, the instructor should, should tell you wall one, wall two, wall three, wall four. And sometimes the tags and the restarts start on wall five or six or seven. So depending on whether we started here and moved here first or started here and moved here first, we discount that way. So if the tag or the restart is on wall eight, <laughs> let's, and we turn this way in the dance for first, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's where you would uh, put your tag or your restart. Now, some dances only have two walls. And if they only have two walls, it's usually the front, it's most often the front wall and the back wall. Okay? So that's two wall, a two wall dance, front wall and back wall. And some wall, some dance is very rare, but some are only one wall. So that would be your home wall. One more thing they do when they teach is they talk about a clock. Yes, a clock. <laughs> to help clarify which wall. So if this is wall one, this is 12 o'clock on the clock. And then the clock always goes the same way. So this would be three o'clock. 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Good? <laughs> so the clock doesn't change the walls, only if you, as we count the walls, if you start facing here first, then that's your wall too. So this is your 12 o'clock wall. And if the teacher says, okay, make a right turn facing your 3 o'clock, three o'clock wall, you turn here, that's always three o'clock. <laughs> or if they say turn, make a quarter turn to your nine o'clock wall, that would be that wall. So <laughs> I hope that helps. <laughs> the walls. <laughs> the clock and the walls. Okay, bye. <laughs>